Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung hindi mo pa napanood yung learning test number 1 hanggang number 4, i-click mo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin mo na lang sa playlist natin. Okay? So, ito ay part 2 ng learning test number 4 which is the word problems. Reminder, iniiban ko yung mga given upang sa ganon ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo. Okay? Dito sa number 1, if the area of the rectangle is given by the polynomial 2x squared minus 15x minus 8, what is the dimension of the rectangle in terms of x? So, ang given dito ay 2x squared minus 15x minus 8. Take note that the area is equal to the product of length and width, so the binomial factor of the equation represent as their length and width. Ang area ng rectangle ay length times width. Kaya ang magiging factor natin, yun yung magiging length at width natin. So, ano nga ba ang factor ng 2x squared minus 15x minus 8? Using the AC method, I-multiply muna natin yung quadratic coefficient na 2 at yung constant term na negative 8. 2 times negative 8 equals negative 16. Ngayon, maghanap kayo ng factor ni negative 16 na kapag in ninyo, magiging negative 15. Since negative yung nasa middle term, ibig sabihin, mas malaki dapat yung negative na number. Maglagay muna tayo dito ng space na paglalagyan natin ng factors ng negative 16. So, ito yung mga factors ng negative 16. Negative 16 times 1, negative 8 times 2, negative 4 times 4. Ano yung sum nila? Negative 16 plus 1 equals negative 15. Negative 8 plus 2 equals negative 6. Negative 4 plus 4 equals 0. So, alin dito ang factor ng negative 16 na ang sum niya is negative 15. That is, negative 16 and positive 1. So, yung negative 16 at positive 1, yun yung ilalagay natin dito sa blanko. Negative 16x plus 1x or x na lang. And then, kagaya ng dati nating ginagawa, pwede nating i-factor ito by grouping. So, i-group muna natin ito at saka ito. Next, ang gagawin natin dito para ma-factor natin, i-factor natin by GCF. Ano ba ang GCF ng 2x squared at negative 16x? That is, positive 2x. So, ilalabas natin si positive 2x, ano yung matitira sa loob? Para makuha ninyo, i-divide nyo lang yung first term dito sa GCF niya at yung second term. And that is 2x squared divided by 2x equals x. Kasi makakancel ito, then 2 minus 1 equals x. Isusubtract nyo lang yung exponent niya. Next naman yung second term na negative 16x. Negative 16x divided by 2x equals negative 8. So, yung matitira sa loob ay x minus 8. Paano naman dito? Ano naman ang GCF ng x minus 8? Since x minus 8 na siya, pwede nating ilabas yung positive 1 na lang. At ang matitira sa loob ay x minus 8 pa rin. Then, pagsamahin na natin yung x minus 8 by the rule of factoring by grouping. Pwede natin pagsamahin yan. x minus 8 tapos yung remaining pagsasamahin natin yung 2x plus 1. So, ang matitira is 2x plus 1. Ito na yung factor ng ating polynomial. Ibig sabihin... The dimensions of the rectangle are x minus 8 and 2x plus 1. In terms of x kasi, kaya huwag na natin isolve kung ano yung measurement nila. Okay? Next, number 2. The volume of the prism is x cubed plus 64. If the height is the binomial factor of the volume, 
and the trinomial factor is the product of length and width, find the height of the prism. Ito ay example ng cube of binomial. Paano na nga ba ulit ito sinusolve? To find the volume of a rectangular prism, the solution is to multiply its three dimensions. Ang volume ng prism ay length times width times height. And the volume is being expressed in cubic units. Again, ang volume natin ay x cubed plus 64. At ang formula natin is volume equals length times width times height. Di ba meron tayong pattern na sinusundan para makuha natin yung factors ng cube? So, ito yon. Ito yung magiging factor niya. Kaya, kunin natin yung value ng A at yung value ng B para isubstitute na lang natin dito. Kunin natin yung cube root ng x cube. Ano nga ba ang cube root ng x cube? That is x. Kasi x times x times x equals x cube. And let's say this is the value of a para magamit natin to. Ano naman ang cube root ng 64? Anong number ang kapag imumultiply mo ng tatlong beses sa sarili niya magiging 64? That is positive 4. Kasi 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. And let's say this is the value of B. Ngayon, meron na tayong A, meron na tayong B. Pwede na nating i-substitute dito sa pattern natin. So, ang A natin ay X, kaya lalagay natin dyan, plus ang B naman natin is 4, times ang A natin is X, then squared, minus A, times b plus b squared, kaya 4 squared. Then, simplify natin. That is x plus 4, then x squared minus x times 4 equals 4x plus 4 times 4 equals 16. So, ang sabi niya dito, yung height daw is the binomial factor. So, ito daw yung height niya. And then, yung trinomial factor naman is the product of length times Width. So, let's say this is length times width. Ngayon, ang tinatanong, find the height. So, ibig sabihin, ang height natin dito is x plus 4. Kasi ito yung height natin. Meaning, height is equal to x plus 4. So, ito yung final answer. Next, number 3, we have the length of a rectangular lot is 21 less than thrice its width. If the area is 90 square centimeter, what is the length and the width of the rectangle? Area is defined as the amount of space that can be occupied inside the flat surface or surface of solid. Ang area ng rectangle ay length times width. Ang given dito, i-analyze natin. So that is 21 less than thrice its width. Ibig sabihin, ang length natin ay 3 width minus 21. Kasi 21 less than thrice its width. Ang area naman natin is 90 square centimeter. Pwede natin gamitin yung formula na to. Ang area natin is 90 equals, ang length natin is 3W minus 21 times width. Then, ang next na gagawin natin is distribute natin yung W dito. 90 equals 3W squared, then W times negative 21 equals negative 21W. And then, para ma-factor natin to, i-transpose natin yung positive 90 sa kabila, mag-change ng sign, magiging negative 90. So, ang magiging bagong equation na natin or bagong polynomial natin is 3W squared minus 21W minus 90. At kung mapapansin ninyo, lahat ng numerical coefficient niya ay divisible by 3. So, i-divide natin sa 3 para masimplify na. 3W squared divided by 3, so divide natin sa 3, equals W squared. Negative 21W divided by 3 equals negative 7 with, then negative 90 divided by 3 equals negative 30 equals 0. So, pinagpalit ko na pero the same pa rin naman sila. Then, next, pwede na natin itong i-factor para makuha natin yung 
length tsaka width. So, paano nga ba ulit mag-factor ng trinomial na ganito? Mag-isip kayo ng factor ni negative 30 na kapag in naman ninyo, magiging negative 7. Ano yung number na yon? Ito yung mga factors ni negative 30. Since negative yung nasa middle term, dapat mas malaking number yung negative. Kaya ito lang yung nilista natin. Negative 30 plus 1 equals negative 29. Negative 15 plus 2 equals negative 13 to. Negative 10 plus 3 equals negative 7. And negative 6 plus 5 equals negative 1. So, alin dyan ang sum niya is negative 7? Yung negative 10 at positive 3. Ibig sabihin, ang factors natin ay W minus 10 tapos W plus 3 equals 0. Then, idagdag natin yung 3 kanina na dinivide natin kasi kailangan yun. Then, para makuha natin yung width, pwede natin gamitin yung zero factor property. I-equate lang naman natin sa zero bawat term. So, unahin natin yung 3. Pero yung 3 equal 0, kaya huwag na natin siyang isali. Ito na lang, yung dalawa na lang. So, that is W minus 10 equals 0. Then, para makuha yung W, transpose natin yung negative 10 sa kabila. Mag-change ng sign, magiging positive 10. Next, yung W plus 3 naman. W plus 3 equals 0. Transpose positive 3, magiging negative 3. Since ang pinag-uusapan dito is length, ano sa tingin ninyo ang dapat nating piliin? Yung positive 10 ba? Or negative 3? That is positive 10. Kasi wala namang length na negative. Kaya ang gagamitin nating width ay 10. Para makuha natin yung length, isubstitute natin yung value ng width dito sa original na equation ng length. So, ang length natin is 3W minus 21. By substitution, that is 3 times ang width natin is 10 minus 21. Then, 3 times 10 equals 30 minus 21. 30 minus 21 equals 9. So, ang length natin is 9 Ang width natin is 10. Okay? Therefore, the length of the rectangular lot is 9 cm and its width is 10 cm. Kung isa-check naman natin, di ba ang area is length times width? Dapat magiging 90 yung answer niya. So, ang length natin is 9 times 10 equals 90. So, nakuha natin yung area. Ibig sabihin, tama yung nakuha natin. Length at width. So, yun lamang. Sana nakatulong ito sa inyong pagsagot sa inyong mga modules. Abangan ninyo yung susunod na video sa inyong learning task number 5. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aaralang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!